Why zebra has no horns? Long, long ago, zebra stood on a rocky outcrop and surveyed the bleak landscape before him that was sun bleached and bone dry except for a few succulent plants that littered the countryside. In those days, zebra not only had his distinctive black and white markings but horns as well, that were the envy of Gemsbach who did not have horns at that time. Gemsbach finished savoring the dew from the leaves of a succulent plant and wandered over to where Zebra was standing on a bank of rocks. Please give me one of your horns, Zebra, said Gemsbach. I would so like to have one. Zebra looked at Gemsbach and twitched his tail. You have two horns, Zebra. If you gave me one, we could each have one. Zebra considered Gemsbach's request but after deliberation he said, I have two horns, but I have need of them. I couldn't possibly give you one. Dejected. Gemsbach left Zebra and went in search of some desert grass. As he moved, his lithe, sand-colored body blended with the desert background until he was no longer visible. Some time later when a full moon rose in a clear black sky Gemsbach arrived at Zebra's house on the rocky slope and found Zebra sound asleep. Because Zebra was in such deep repose. Gemsbach detached Zebra's horns from his striped head without waking him. Then attaching the long horns to his own head, Gemsbach ran swiftly away. Moving his head from side to side in awareness of his new acquisition. The next day, when the sun was beginning to slide behind a rocky outcrop in the west. Gemsbach was digging in the rock-hard earth for a buried tuber to eat when he saw Zebra coming towards him. Quickly Gemsbach said, I asked you so politely Zebra. If you would share your horns so that we could each have one, in all fairness but you declined. Anger rose in Zebra. He lowered his head and began to agitate with his feet. Creating clouds of dust that rose from the rock-hard earth. Look, Zebra, said Gemsbach retreating. I now have two horns and you have none. And I will never return them to you. Astounded Zebra replied, You have a cloven foot and I do not. Because of that fact I do not need horns, Gemsbach. Gemsbach lifted his black and white head towards Zebra, raising his long, dark homes. Only animals with cloven hooves have need of horns, said Zebra. Like goals do. Those of us who do not need horns are more important in the animal world than those who do. The End